As a comic book colorist drawing my own book for the first time, I needed to find a good reference tool. Like many great artists, using reference is important for getting perspective right, not just for backgrounds, but for figures as well. 3D reference tools can help with making things look more solid, more realistic, and can assist with framing your shots since you're free to move the camera around your scenes. Almost all of my favorite YouTube artists are using Blender, which is a fantastic tool, incredibly powerful, but it's a bit daunting for someone like me with limited time to learn it. My favorite coloring app, Clip Studio Paint, offers some 3D features which are continuing to expand in the latest version, but fine-tuning details can be tedious, and turning all the little dials to get every joint in the right place at the right angle it feels robotic to use, and honestly, the results often look stiff and robotic for the same reason. It's just not how we think about moving body parts around. So instead of fiddling with all these little arrows and axes, what if there was an app that would just allow me to control the model by moving it through 3D space? Better yet, what if I could control it with my own body? So let me see if I can just get my head in here. Hold on. All right, there we go. This feels pretty good. Now the right hand. All right, and the left. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I can see myself in the monitor over here, and it's recording, so I can move through a series of possible poses to review later and pick the one that I want. I can adjust hundreds of variables on this model to make them thinner or more muscular, scale them up or down. I can clothe the model in a variety of free outfits available for download. The camera I'm shooting this with in the scene has an adjustable field of view and is completely free to move around the scene. Great for getting interesting angles. This has a powerful lighting engine which mixes colors together in a realistic way and all the lights can be adjusted in real time in a variety of ways. I could set up a directional light like the sun or the moon, bot lights, area lights, and each light has an adjustable reach and intensity, and it all works in real time. Now you might be thinking this all sounds too good to be true. Turns out it's real. This program was built by a small but extremely well-funded Patreon developer called Meshed VR. There's an online marketplace for it, effectively a cottage industry building up around this app. There are thousands of models, environments, clothing options, furniture, props, much of it available for free. The app itself can be had for as little as $8 a month via the devs Patreon. So what is it? And why am I taking so long to tell you? It's called VAM, which is short for, and I'm not sure on the pronunciation here, is this, is this Spanish? Virtamate. No, I'm kidding. It's called Vertimate. And if you haven't figured it out by the name, it's a human body interaction simulator. It's a 3D porn simulator, guys. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I need to be clear here with a few disclaimers before you start Googling this. All of the websites associated with this software are for adults only. There is a lot of nudity and explicit sexual imagery on these sites, so keep that in mind. If that offends you, you don't have to go there. Have a good day. If it doesn't, here's what you need to get started playing with yourself. I mean, playing with the app yourself. There's a desktop version and a VR version included. They are Windows PC only. It is not compatible with Macs or iPads. The version I'm currently using is the latest as of this writing, which is version 1.2. If you're intending to use this as an art reference tool, it really doesn't require a super beefy PC. Just like most games these days, you can adjust the lighting and physics quality to run on almost any modern GPU especially if you aren't concerned with the frames per second. There's really no need to worry too much about the frame rate if you're using it for right reference anyway, but the stronger your GPU and CPU are, the smoother it will run. Being able to set up your poses as if you were in the room makes it very easy to get interesting angles because you can move the camera around the scene just like you would in the real world. This is easiest in VR, but this also works on the desktop version by using the arrow keys and mouse to move the camera around the scene. I've been using this app for reference for years now, and I'll be using it on my new book going forward. I intend to draw a lot of this book on my streams, and I'll be showing my reference images as I'm working at times. So I know that a lot of people will be asking me what I'm using for reference, and I will be pointing them to this video. VAM is a powerful, fully featured application that I have only scratched the surface of today. There is a massive catalog of plugins and add-ons for it. It does animations. People are making movies with it, although it's the kind that would get my channel demonetized. If you decide to check it out and want to learn how to use it like I have, I've just launched a new step-by-step -step course called VAM, the Ultimate Art Reference Guide. 
I'll show you how to set up a scene, pose your models, set up your light sources with as many as your GPU can handle, and I'll show you how to use the built-in camera system for shooting stills or videos from your scenes. You'll learn how to take control of a model in a scene like I showed you earlier, and you'll come away knowing everything you need to know to start using it. I'll provide some example scenes as well so you don't have to start from scratch, and I'll include my G-rated models here since those can be hard to find. Use the code VAMYOUTUBE at checkout to get 20% off your purchase. Thank you so much for watching my weird little video here. Subscribe, like, click a button, any button, all that stuff. See you next time.